watching ShareX Broadcast Network. Hello, my family. We're at Cabo again. Uh, this is our ShareX Broadcast Network. Of course, the place who say would bring Africa live to Usa ever you day around the globe. Uh, today, we want to take a quick moment for talk to Una exclusively about uh, the Adua citizenship Sega. We don't take place in Sierra Leone. We now the incumbent All People's Congress government, headed by His Excellency Dr. Anes Baikroma, now I bring this issue up. Of course, uh, the opposite way, uh, you know, bring out to the public now, of course, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, uh, uh, Mr. Joseph Fitzgerald Kamara. Of course, like I all know, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, as per the Constitution of Sierra Leone, I suppose, for advice the president on legal matters and so if anything they go right or wrong with regards to legal matters then that the minister of justice and to the general minister of justice na in they look up to for them kind of thing so of course we all know see this is a dual citizenship issue don't they go around and uh, some of we don't become really very passionate about this issue not because uh, we hate the APC of, as a political party or the APC government as a government or not because we do them because we lack you know certain individuals the way they run for specific positions in the country or because uh, we do them in you know support of any political party no you know when you talk about government we you they talk about uh, a situation where the one day where they operate government, then they play with the lives of uh, the citizens of the country, especially like for Sierra Leone. I mean, thinking about everything where this country don't go through, you know, just starting from 1978 coming down, you know, where let me take them from 1980, you know, really waiting and begin for go bad now, waiting and bad thing at the country, you know, who side Sierra Leoneans they begin for suffer. You know, then continue for so far. Then after we, we country don't decide say we they host the OAU conference in our country. You know, we they, we they hold them, and this na be big time conference. So the small money we been get, we put all thing. You know, we take all thing a bank. We use them for host the OAU conference, and of course, when I know say Shaka Stephen, when I been the leader of the All People's Congress, na be host that conference day, and then you know say before that one they serve, the introduction of the one party state in the country instead bring a lot of issues then you know so then two things then they don't make now people that don't suffer so much in the country the the corruption be don't climax you know poverty don't go to some level people then they live inside squalor people then they die of hunger you know there is a big you know gap between the one that we get and the one that we don't get and so we all know now then ten and then our way people that talk say oh who say you tie cow now they, they eat and so that corruption the or this the the state of your of affairs in the country make Sierra Leone descend into an 11 year brutal civil war that civil war will affect in Sierra Leone according to all analysis of global you know uh organizations then they say that kind of civil war the horrors of that civil war it not ever happen at any country in the whole world past the Sierra Leone. Who side they bleed, you know, bele woman and bele. Who side they cut people they hand them. Who side, you know, a lot of horrific things they happen. For 11 years, 50,000 Sierra Leoneans they lost their lives for that war. Two million Sierra Leoneans they became displaced. Some of them became refugees. They not ever turn back in the country, right? And so after with that war they don't do. Look at everything else we don't happen, right? So. People then way they talk about uh, dual citizenship. We na a very positive thing. Any country where you hear it say then they encourage dual citizenship. Na a very positive thing. Look like uh, the most advanced country in the world, United States, or other advanced countries then at the world, United Kingdom, you know, Germany, the other countries then Canada. Like United States, when you don't become a naturalized citizen in the United States. You they at the same time retain the citizenship of the country of your birth. They know the talk say, oh, because you don't become citizen of United States, so therefore, oh, you're not a citizen of your country again. No. 
America not they ever talk that America are the most powerful country in the world, you know. But they're not they talk that one day. You become a naturalized citizen of your country. I mean a naturalized citizen of United States, but at the same time you maintain the citizenship of your natural uh, your country of birth. You know? So they don't ever stop anybody for saying, oh, where you be citizen? The only thing, you know, when they become citizen of America, you get for pledge that allegiance, they for say, if America get war, you go fight on their behalf, right? If uh, anything for Donald America, now America force you go support, then kind of thing that they go happen. But again, let us look and find back. When you don't become a citizen in places like America, you they, 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 a lot of resources then they will become available to you. A lot of benefits then they will ordinary person not they get if you're not a citizen of America. Certain jobs then they you're not they able for do do jobs that way they pay you well. Where they make you put good money on your table or you bring put, put uh, you, you live an average you know working class life in America. If you're not a citizen, you're not the get any kind of job then. So now let me compare the two. I mean before we actually come to the issue of the, you know, um, the dual citizenship, let me analyze this to our force. Let us see. Waiting make Sierra Leoneans then they become citizens now in other countries then, especially they not they become citizens in other countries then, now advanced countries like United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, you know, Germany, Australia, then suddenly or other countries in Europe. Now, these Sierra Leoneans then they mostly become citizens of their own country. Then they. Now, because if the government them way they are Sierra Leone, they be done they create this level playing field. They don't they create all these resources where go make a Sierra Leonean not ever want for go live in another country or even try for become citizen in another country. Then it is a whole different story, because there were days back in the days. In the 60s, where Sierra Leoneans they get scholarship, then go abroad, then just they go study, where they don't study don't, then go back in a salon. Because then 10 then they, even the money will be used in a salon, it being get value past the US dollar, the pound sterling, right? Food being then at the country warp, education will be almost free, agriculture will be the boom, the train be then at the country, they go upline all the way to Penemui, they bring produce can of free tone. You know, people they not be the agua for nothing. So they tend then they when a Sierra Leonean leaves Sierra Leone, they go abroad. They just they go study or they go vacation and come back in the country. But if the politicians then the one they will then they put in a position of authority, they're not able for create a level playing field, a conducive atmosphere where they encourage and entertain Sierra Leoneans to stay in their country. Then they go abroad. Even the one that now they try for push and institute then then, then do a citizenship act or whatever 1991 constitution. Now people then if they get that opportunity, they for say they not get any other option. This is the only option they have is to live abroad. Trust me, then they go abroad and live there. Right? So before we they blame Sierra Leoneans, then because I don't see a politicians the way they campaign, where they talk about these things. In an in very in, uh, inappropriate way, the information within the past deal with people then they completely not correct about Sierra Leoneans the way we don't go abroad, and most of them Sierra Leoneans the way they are abroad. Now the same one they do quite a lot of things for able for help that country they for go forward. When it comes to politics, they are doing it big time. When it comes to economy, they are doing it big time. You know, we catastrophe for don't that country they the Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora they are helping in a big way. So in it could be a retrogression or a retrogressive mentality for let anybody within a Sierra Leone they try for look down on people Sierra Leoneans that we don't get dual citizenship for be, continue for look down on them just because they don't become citizens of them countries that we said in day. If then people then the most of the ninety percent of them, if they're not to be citizens now then countries and they will say they don't turn to citizens where would they pay, try for block them now. Most of the things that what they don't do necessarily, they're not for not able for do them to that level say they don't do them. Because when you become citizen and then country, you not sound like a winner salon. What would they give citizenship to anybody? Then the one way they can win a stranger, it look more powerful pass we way than born at the country. You know, in all times, so now then place there where somebody becomes citizen, you get close access to a lot of benefits, right? But that's not for be a yard stick. Now, what you would see that happen here in this dual citizenship thing is this 
the government they don't feel for create a conducive atmosphere in the country we go make a Sierra Union talk say I want for stay in my country. So when they Sierra Unions then during the war, I, I want for particularly talk about during the uh, the rebel the civil war in Sierra Leone. Two million Sierra Leoneans they don't run away. They don't go, right? When they don't go, President Amati Jankaba, a man of wisdom, he don't talk say, okay, they were brothers and sisters during the rebel war, or even before that, the conditions will be in the country not been good enough for them for many staying at the country. So they decided to go abroad. So they don't go abroad, they don't become citizens in their countries and they. So therefore, let would try for create a way for men and come back home. This is their home. So now that make way it been pushed for that 2006 citizenship uh, citizenship act. It pushed for her. and that was the right decision in the right direction. Right, the 2006 citizenship act of Sierra Leone. So it pushed for him. When he don't push for him, parliament pass him. Then he signed it into law. When a sitting president don't sign an act, it becomes law of the country. The only thing now is the constitution. When are the guiding document? When the guide when are the country? When are the 1991 constitution? Section 76 don't talk. Say if you not a Sierra Leonean, we you be don't go abroad and you don't go hold a citizenship of another country. They automatically you not qualify for run for any of them position and they like for going to parliament or for run for even local council or for run for the presidency of the country. We understand that. But we think people they know they talk about two things where people they know they talk about. Number one, when a sitting president don't sign an act, a citizenship act granting Sierra Leoneans of dual citizenship status for say then go able for reclaim the citizenship of their country of birth the next immediate thing where any other government where they take over from uh, the, where they take over away for do or any government self where they do now for try for incorporate that citizenship act into the constitution of the country so that it becomes binding so, in other words, in 2006, where President Ahmad Yankaba signed the Citizenship Act of Sierra Leone in 2006, and then the handover government gave the APC in 2007, it was incumbent or incumbent upon the APC government for incorporate the 90, I mean the the 2006 six, uh, Citizenship Act into the 1991 Constitution into the 1991 constitution the president or the minister of justice attorney general therefore not able for push this act here in a parliament for men able for discuss them debate them and incorporate them so therefore take away section 76 repeal and replace them with the citizenship act of 2006 with president kamasai but the apc government not do that one day and in fact, they not do them, but they went ahead and violated the 1991 Constitution by the president appointing Sierra Leoneans who hold dual citizenship status to key government positions. Most of them were cabinet ministers. Most of them hold other key positions in key government institutions and parastatals. And some of them even ran for parliamentary seats. They were in parliament for all these years, 10 years. And now suddenly, in 2018, two months to elections, the APC government headed by the president and the Attorney General Minister of Justice, then they tried to push the 1991 constitution for enforce them for the bar Sierra Leoneans then from contesting for these key positions just because of their own very personal interest which then they do not get nothing for do with the interest of Sierra Leone in fact now the opposite then they do 
Because if you are really talking about the interests of Sierra Leone, what you do at this point in time, after whole country don't go through all of these unfortunate uh, experiences, whole country don't go through these catastrophes, if you are interested in genuine development in Sierra Leone, you for encourage all Sierra Leoneans that will be all over the world. For many come together, many them participate in the political process, many them participate in the development process. I mean, when Nick is young at the sea, place like a Ghana, right? Place like a Ghana, where they don't, the government don't set up a whole committee where they welcome Ghanaians abroad, Ghanaians in the diaspora, for many come back and be part of the development process in Ghana. I mean, in terms of economic development, entrepreneurship, joining a uh, political inclusion, then they talk to them in a summit with them all, with them parliamentarians, then go in, the, 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 the government ministers, then go in, even the president went there and gave a speech, welcoming Ghanaians back to their country. I mean, before I go further, let me even see what here they talk about. Let me just see this video really quickly about what here they talk about Ghana. I'm coming home, I'm coming home, tell the world. Hello. Diana Uswa Aswini. I need to thank one from Sydney, Australia. I'm going to meet Christopher, it's my name. And I am in China. Rashida Ghani from Chicago, USA. They've forgiven my mistakes. Mothers, fathers, and the diaspora, welcome home. I'm coming home. I am coming home. We're coming home! Diaspora is a constituency that I believe every government must take very seriously. And therefore it is heartwarming that an MPP government is back and the homecoming summit is back. Ghana is at a spot where the grounds are so fertile for business building. There is a group of diasporans on the ground already dedicated to putting the things in place to facilitate your return home. So I think you should take advantage of that. This initiative is superb. It's about development, opportunity, and value. The world is talking about Ghana. Lots of opportunities in Ghana. Come and be part of the Ghana Diaspora Homecoming Summit. We're not necessarily saying everybody come back, but we're saying everybody look back. I've been living uh, in Holland for about 21 years. So it's uh, exciting you know, to come back home. Uh, it's just uh, yeah, every time that you come back home living outside, you know, it feels like you are really home. And the policy of the government, I think, is helpful for every businessman like me who is outside the country to come in and uh, invest in the country or find a place to position himself. People say, oh, it's not safe. It's very safe. I travel at night alone and I am not attacked by anyone. Ghana is one of the safest countries you can get in Africa. I believe in you. We believe in you. We believe that together we can do it. The women and children of Ghana are welcome back home. We need you back home. People should come in and interact with the business community and network among themselves to see how best we can take this development agenda by the government. Welcome. Ghana is your home. Right. So when I don't see the video, me fam with them. Welcome home. Welcome home. Now, if I can ask the question, President Anes Baikroma, you you, don't, you can't for talk to Andy, or you don't want to talk to Andy. Welcome home. Joseph Fitzgerald Kamara, you don't want to talk. Welcome, welcome back home. No, you guys are saying the complete opposite. But this is Ghana. So if people then begin to ask, oh, what do you make Ghana they develop so fast? What do you make Ghana they develop so fast? Now, because of how Ghana they do things, they not get bad at. They not they mess with the electoral process in the country. They not they meddle inside the electoral process. They not they reject. They not they prevent their brothers and sisters where they are abroad. I mean, can you imagine? For most of the Sierra Leoneans the way they are abroad, 
they not just go abroad and go sit down. They go abroad. Most people them take advantage of the opportunities that were available in other countries they abroad. For me, they able for go school. For me, they learn something. They acquire experiences, acquire skills, acquire knowledge. We be say anybody we in Sierra Leone we really genuinely means well. We want for let development take place in Sierra Leone. Now then people they are so you for encourage for men and come back with their talents, with their knowledge, with their experiences, with their skills for men and put them to work for less along go before. But instead, when I don't engage in activities rejecting them. And when they send this wrong message to the ordinary Sierra Leonean, we don't understand the details of what they do. When they send the wrong message to them, when they portray Sierra Leoneans living in the diaspora as bad people. And that's the Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora are not so bad people. We are all Sierra Leoneans. Now, Salon, them born we. The one that the diaspora, the mama, the daddy, the daddy, the Sierra Leone. Every now and then, then they take care of them, family them. You, why you go one for prevent somebody with a born in a country? This is not a natural God given right. Just because they don't pledge allegiance to another country, so because of that, now you want for exempt and from your own country, who say born? You don't ask yourself what you do will culminate into pushing that person for go abroad and go get that citizenship abroad. What thing you do? What thing you go able for sure? Which conditions the way you don't create na Sierra Leone? We go encourage Sierra Leoneans for me then come back and help the development process. What thing you don't do? Every day you engage in an activity where they discourage them. Even if they put medicines and medical equipment inside a container load, they send an awataki as they reach the when they bring kalo kalo ka inside a frustrated boss the person so much that they abandon it and they're not able to go. I mean, most of their medicines and medical equipment now for go give free to Sierra Leoneans, then for many not suffer, many not die of minor diseases. But when are they in position of authority, when they frustrate the Sierra Leoneans from even giving free uh, uh, assistance to the people there. They in not stop for that one day. Even when people they can say, let we go do investment in our own country. If they don't can't get small luck now, they don't get that small money, they say, let we go do investment. When the people they can go for make una able for sign a simple document for able for encourage that person for can invest that money in the country, employ some Sierra Leoneans then, even if not a small group of Sierra Leoneans, employ them and, 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 and you know do what they get for do. For make una sign a simple document, when they take that person through series of series and series of unnecessary bureaucratic procedures then. Wait till they by the time where they reach to the final person where they tell us, okay, do business now. So take all the resources that we can go, you don't exhaust them, money don't do not and they end up for come back. So this is what you guys are doing in Sierra Leone. Then we wanna grab and say, oh, they want the way they are brought to a citizen, they know they do not when I try for exercise Sierra Leoneans because of that. And you know, the other thing with government. Not to tell the ordinary Sierra Leoneans about people that win as Sierra Leoneans the way they are broad, we they all do a citizenship. Waiting they not to tell one. Now this. If the one the way they are broad, we as salon people the way we don't come, then they all over the world. Thousands of Sierra Leoneans. Every week, every month, then they pull money, then they send another Sierra Leone. Either then they send a true Western Union. Or then they send them through MoneyGram, or some man they sell and send them through black market. But every week, every month, now then they send them money then at the country. And then money then where they go to the country, now thousands of dollars. And so now you want to find out the money they where they go to the country, how that money they they have for stimulate the economy. The way they cook, you don't put salt inside your food. Where you the mix mix and for let the soil do inside all side. Now so them money the whole the same. Now so it is stimulate the economy. Now they make the economy the move on and how it happen. Let we talk say 
Joseph within uh, Australia don't send five hundred dollar for Imama for chop money. Me within America I don't send five hundred dollar for Imama for chop money. The other person within a uh, UK instead don't send money in a ton or in a Sierra Leone to, to inform for chop money or for any other purpose. Now let us just say that for chop money, right? Let us say all man don't send every month. That person where sit down at that market, where they sell pepper, where they sell fish, where they sell pamai, where they sell rice, where they sell all the food commodities the whole day, whole family that they eat. Even though we not get connection with them directly, but because now then they sell anything and they, we find that they go change their money and they then go buy, buy, buy anything and they from there. So the market they sell because of the money they all they send, we find that they go use for buy their market then they. So imagine if the people that waiting at the diaspora, they not send any kind of money then they in Sierra Leone, how the economy go be. Because even the one that where they work at the country, where the government supposed to pay, they know they pay them on time. It will take two, three, four months before they pay them. So if we say not only the money where the government they pay the workers then at the country, now the country they rely on for let the people then survive. I am telling you, my family they wanna go agree with me for say people then go don't die plenty of hunger and starvation at that country. But because of the money they hold the same, even though we not the same to all man, but we the same to family. But we family they use the money then they for go to market and buy. So that buy whether they buy the market post instead they go use that money they go buy more market so the, so the money they go around the money they go around then even if my mama cook post in the day today will not get food for it my mama they pull for that food they again so this is how diaspora and Sierra Leoneans that they help for stimulate the economy in Sierra Leone so people that went to Sierra Leoneans they went abroad within the diaspora and a very important block for help this country go before but the politicians because they don't come from time for politics they don't forget about Sierra Leone as a country they don't forget about the development we're supposed to take place in the country then they focus on themselves now either they say oh can the young killer and they try for take away votes from the APC or Mohammed Cameron by my side they try for take votes from the APC so therefore they will create a way even if they know say this way, whether they create, they hurt the young members and they hurt the country as a whole, they don't care, they don't give a damn. They just they pursue their own personal self-interest. This not so in the interest of the country. It is in their own personal interest because they not believe in democracy, wherein the people directly involve and participate in the affairs of their country. They don't believe in that. They believe in dictatorship. They believe in authoritarianism. You know, where in anything where they want for do neither they do. They, you know, where they want for do anything, nobody not for stop them. So that this they go on right now on Sierra Leone. So if you ask the question, this kind of thing where they go on Sierra Leone, you compare it to what they happen at Ghana. Salon not they ever able for 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 advance. They not they ever able for go before because of your individual attitudes. We not they ever able for advance. So until Sierra Leoneans they able for understand these things where they happen, we able for understand and come to terms with these things where they happen. We country not they ever go before. We country small me family. The water no more way God give we. When other salt water way come up from Suleiman, they can go up na fruit. That alone, if we say we they invest in that, what they call tourism, where with man and other people that they come up from their own country, then they can't enjoy in our country. We create that avenue for them. For me, when they come, we create boku boku thing that we can make them really feel at home. They feel for them in our country for enjoy themselves. That alone go take care of all of the problem in the country. It go take care of we all. No Sierra Leone are not even supposed for you work too much for let you able for make them. If we only focus on tourism. How about agriculture? God don't give you arable land. You did take mango so you eat and the seed you drop on a grow and left later on they examinate. Other country they did not get that one they say na so so san Sunday. So God don't give you everything. Agriculture alone will be able for use agriculture for kill two two birds with one stone. 
and how would they do them? We go use agriculture for great avenue for let we get enough food like how we get before. Who they eat? We get rest in the country. Stay, we eat. Stay, we not the donor. We the exporter out of Salo. Then at the same time, we go use agriculture for create job for them youths that we not get no job for do. We don't get work for do. Right? And so plenty, plenty other things that they will go able for do. Now, the only way we will go able for do that thing is for let we able for put people in a position of authority where they understand how for do that kind of thing. Where they get the vision, where they brain, they think honestly about these things. We're not to we're not to pass selfishness or greed or nepotism. We're not righteous Sierra Leonean thinking. We know they do that and they instead we try for for dreb and discourage the country salon people there. When are we all born at the country? Right? This is what we are doing. And the other thing that is so disheartening about this whole thing is we may they see a political party like the Israelian People's Party, we're not the oldest political party in the country. And we're not the main opposition political party in the country. When it be said the 2006 Citizenship Act of Sierra Leone was signed by an SLPP president. Now, SLPP president, late Dr. Ahmad Jankaba, now in envision the idea, he push on a parliament, parliament pass up, he can sign up on October 26, 2006. Nine President Kaba signed the Sierra Leone Citizenship Act of 2006 as amended because the 1973 Citizenship Act will not be allowed to do a citizenship, neither amend with the 2006 uh, Citizenship Act. A, an SLPP sitting president signed it. So if APC don't grab, then they try for overturn something where an SLPP president signed. Waiting at the position of the SLPP as a political party for stand in ground on waiting an SLPP president do. Instead, waiting me they see at the see then say they support the idea of the 1991 constitution. Where be say the APC failed for men and do their job. Because if the APC as a government they be do their job, then be for don't incorporate, they for don't push this bill in a parliament, this act in a parliament. For many debater and incorporate them into the 1991 constitution, replacing it with 76 1. Right? But they don't do that one day. So now, because of they don't do their job, then they punish innocent Sierra Leoneans the way they're supposed to benefit from the 2006 Citizenship Act. And the SLPP as a political party, way now the president be put this thing into effect, then they support the APC by undoing waiting the SLPP don't do 10 years ago or 11 years ago oh my god that's what I cannot understand so some of we really care for no waiting at the position of the SLPP on this issue we need to know their clear position on this issue maybe the party they need for meet force May they really, you know, reconsider and discuss these things and come out with a robust position statement on this dual citizenship. Because don't just think about today, because you are running for presidency and you want to win the presidency, and so therefore you go say any statement. When you become the presidential candidate of a political party, any talking away the common you want, it becomes a policy statement. Just as the president, the sitting president, and as by Kroma, any talk where you talk, it's a policy statement. So that make way they in certain positions, you know they just talk no more. You for no way till they talk at whatever gathering. <clears throat> right? So now that they may not understand the ordinary position. And the information will they give the masses, the populace, and they make them they look at Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora with this bad way. That they look at we, then they look at we in a bad way, even though most Sierra Leoneans they mean so well for Sierra Leone. We say they don't begin to see the impact of this decision. This is not the Sierra Leone that we want to live in. 
This is not the Sierra Leone they expect for let it be the Sierra Leone. This is not the Sierra Leone. If one for let this country move forward, let this country go before, these are not some of the actions that we'll get for employ for let this country go before. We'll get for do things differently. Because they say you cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a change. If you want for let change happen, you get for do things differently. So at the real if you say, number one, the APC government, then they play Kalu Kalu with, I mean, then they play, play with with lives. They don't take power 2007. They don't uphold the 1991 constitution. The president don't appoint plenty of in cabinet ministers when I do as citizens. The whole citizenship in Sierra Leone, citizenship in other countries, they don't appoint them, appoint them into cabinet positions. The parliament don't approve them. They don't serve in their positions for 10 consecutive years. They don't allow some of the members, they're not even going to parliament as dual citizens. They don't enforce the 1991 constitution. Then the APC government also failed for incorporate the 2006 Citizenship Act into the 1991 constitution. Because when they signed the act, they are so it is incumbent upon the incumbent government to incorporate it into our laws. Now the same thing we then do way they sign way the ECOWAS court passed the judgment on Samsumana in case. They say, oh, it is not binding on us. That case they don't get anything for do that case. So whatever ruling they do at ECOWAS is not binding on the country. But in 2005, the city vice president of Sierra Leone. Mr. Solomon Ekuma Berewa signed the ECOWAS court treaty. And when they sign a treaty, they are so. If you know, say you know the incorporator into your country's laws, don't sign it. But when you sign it as government, whether now you they know the next government will they come, it is their responsibility to incorporate these things into the Sierra Leonean law. Because ECOWAS not going for don't wait for you. There are 16 countries in West Africa. All the other 15 countries that don't go back, they don't implement it here, so they treat it into their own laws. Only Salon not implement it into your law. And then so that they expect ECOWAS for Sudan wait for them. ECOWAS is not going to wait. The ECOWAS court is going to go ahead and do their job. And so when a case arises from Sierra Leone and somebody can't go to ECOWAS court, and it can't happen to say they pass a judgment, that judgment is binding on Sierra Leone as a country because we appended our signature to the court treaty. So any excuse now where you give as Antony General Minister of Justice, government, like in a whole water, because this treaty, you know you go sign treaty 50 and then you don't have to uphold them. So the bottom line is, the APC government, especially the Ministry of Justice, they not do their work. They not incorporate the ECOWAS court treaty into the laws of Sierra Leone. They not incorporate the 2006 Citizenship Act into the 1991 Constitution. They fail to do these things. And so at the end of the day, they are punishing Sierra Leoneans now for their own failures. This is how I look at the whole thing. The other day at the Yeri, uh, at Yeri uh, Cornelius Devoe, the spokesman for the government, they talk say, oh, they fail for pay due diligence to that particular clause in the constitution because then they assume for say, then when they wait on cantina for them positions, they, or the one they will appoint to cabinet positions that not be Sierra Leoneans and then not behold any dual citizenship. Mr. Devo, are you hearing yourself? Do you know that what you they talk if they paint a picture of you and the government that will not know what you want to do, how can you base the operation of government on assumption? It's like you don't have processes in place where they use for vet things then. You don't get procedures where they follow for do things then for operate as a government. That's what you are telling us. Because every government is supposed to forget procedures. Policies and procedures, what did they follow for do things there? So you cannot say we base you cannot base your operation on assumption or you not follow due diligence because you assume say. So this is these are some of the excuses they are giving us now. And I hear you way Joseph Fitz Gerard Kamara as the Minister of Justice and Attorney General they talk about 
1991 constitution to the APC people, they, they enforce them, they, they talk in, in, in that tone. Let's say every sentence we utter, it they end up with exclamation mark. For let the thing hammer home. It took you 10 years to say what you are saying now. Why are you saying it now? Two months till the next election. So this is complete disservice to Sierra Leone. This now by then way they would they know would that Lex Salo and would that not Lex Salo? Because by their actions they are you did tell we say let Sierra Leone remain the way it is or let it go bien even further. That is what I see happening here. And so my family they would encourage you now for Leuna, 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 you know, bring up your voices. Let people hear your voices on this issue. So they open the line for let people they, you know talk about this issue as well, right? So once more, this now Ibrahim Sharif, uh, Sharif's broadcast network, and a few say did they really get what they try for talk about this dual citizenship issue, not treat her lightly. Not treat her lightly because this is not a light issue. This it affect the people then today, it affect the people then tomorrow, and it affect the coming generation. And you know, Salon family, you where they listen to me, if you happen for come across this video, uh, we want for me, you know, say, when people that they go abroad in certain countries, I like they say this person here, Nakakai did to way, when I excuse me for, for language, Nakakai did to way, that money where they pay them every two weeks, matter of fact, not to every month, every two weeks, that money where they pay them. If we go genuinely by the job descriptions, where they inside with document and a Sierra Leone, we not go pan kalo kalo. We not thief money. We not do nothing. Where you work genuinely, where the money don't they pay you? That money where they pay workers in Nigeria. The money where they pay that kind of person as na abroad. They, nobody not going to pay that kind of money in Nigeria. This person that kind of money to we. That was a minimum wage. Waiting that they pay them. No work, no job. Not the way they will give person as salary. They will pay that kind of money. So if anybody come out abroad, they say if they go back in a salon for go vie for join the political process in the country, that a big sacrifice they make. Because here he is or she is, where they left all the luxuries. But again, Moto Kanaya, a little a nice, nice place. You know, if they wear fine clothes, and not the entire pan food for it. He left all the one they say I they go back in my country for go help with the democratic or the political process. The way he reach here and there, people that they look down on her. Now, big sacrifice people that they make on and on. So these are some of the ways they all they behave in Sierra Leone. Where God they vex for we, where they talk say we not we continue to go before. Now by their actions, they by their tears, so what they do. They say what you want for let God help you, now for help you save us. But if we not help we save, how God get for help we? Now we say self, we not let we save, we not let we brothers and sisters because of selfish, selfishness. We don't have for little brother can near we. We don't have for little sister can near we. Because we don't have for me take that position. Even though we didn't have the position, we don't have to do the job. We don't make let the country go before. But we don't have nobody else today. This is what is going on. So, my family, and I will get for stuff for now. I tell you plenty, plenty. Thank you for our time. And of course, we'll go back now at the main studio for the rest of the broadcast. Thank you very much. And this is now Ibrahim Sharif. watching Sharex Broadcast Network.